This is your technical update from the LMAX Exchange Research and Analytics Desk for Monday, November 9th, 2015. Euro dollar. So the euro is clearly now focused on a retest of that multi-year low from back in March at 104.62, following the latest breakdown below the July base at 108.09. At this point, any corrective action should be very well capped into the 110 area, while ultimately only back above 113 would compromise the immediate bearish outlook. Sterling dollar. So cable has been putting in a series of lower tops this year after since break putting that fre that fresh uh, 2015 high in at 5930 59 and the market has put in the most recent lower top now at 155.10 around ahead of this latest downside extension, which now exposes uh, eventually a retest of that 2015 low at 145.66 further down. At this point, initial support comes in around the psychological barrier at 150, and any rally should be very well capped into the 153 area. Dollar yen. So dollar yen continues its surge following the breakout of uh, beyond that August recovery high at 121.74, and the break is significant as it opens the door for a resumption of gains and a resumption of the broader uptrend, potentially exposing that 2015 multi-year peak at 125.85 from back in June of 2015. At this point, look for any setbacks to now be very well supported into the 121.50 area. Euro Swiss. So not much of a change for Euro Swiss despite some minor setbacks in recent trade with the market overall confined to a consolidation ahead of what should be the next upside extension beyond recent highs at 110.50 from September and towards the next measured move at 112 further up. At this point only back below 107.14 would compromise this outlook. Aussie dollar. So Aussie is back focused back on the downside following the latest rejection up around and above uh, ahead of 74 with the market stalling out at 73.82, where a lower top is now sought out ahead of the next downside extension back towards and eventually below the recent multi-year lows at 69.08. At this point, any rally should be very well capped ahead of 72.50, while ultimately only back above 73.82 would compromise the bearish outlook. Dollar CAD. So Dollar CAD is now focused on a retest of the recent 11-year peak from September at 134.57, with a break above to open the door for a potential measured move of upside extension in the 140 area further up. At this point, any setbacks should continue to be very well supported into the 130 area, while ultimately only back below 128 would compromise the constructive outlook for Dollar CAD. Kiwi dollar. So Kiwi gains have stalled out in recent sessions or the past couple of days uh, ahead of 70 in the 69 area, ahead of what should be the next lower top and fresh downside extension back towards those recent multi-year lows in the 62 area. At this point, only back above 70 would compromise the bearish outlook. SPX 500. So the S&P 500 has put in an impressive recovery rally since that extreme August low at 1833, with the market extending all the way back to just within 1% of the record high from May at 2137. The market has shown signs of exhaustion in recent trade, although we'd need to see a break back below 2070 to confirm and take the immediate pressure off the top side. Otherwise, the focus remains on a retest of that 2137 record high from May. Gold. So some significant declines in gold over the past several days, with the market now taking out key support at 1100 and focused now on a retest of that recent multi-year base going back to July at 1077. A break below 1077 would expose the 1000 barrier further down, while a break back above the 1120 area would now be required to take the immediate pressure off the downside.